What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 craziest YouTuber fan encounters. Now I hate to say it, but in some instances YouTubers are almost considered like celebrities to some people. So it's kind of no surprise these YouTubers have crazy fans as well. In this list we'll be counting down the craziest of the craziest fans. With that said, if you want to enter our free Amazon gift card giveaway, it's as simple as just subscribing to our channel and leaving a comment down below telling us which spot is your favorite and why. Also, make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoy these types of videos. If we can break 5,000 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely epic. Anyways, with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5 In October of last year, someone claiming to be a fan showed up at FaZe Rugg's house. But he wasn't going there to get an autograph, he was there to do some damage to Rugg's car. Now the crazy thing is that Rugg actually caught the guy throwing a glass bottle at his car. And so obviously he wasn't going to stand for something like that. The fan who threw the glass bottle tried to skate away, but Rugg managed to get into his car, catch up, and stop him. As a punishment, Rugg actually made the guy come back to where he threw the glass and then made him pick it all up. I mean, I guess it makes sense. The kid was the one that made the mess, so he should be the one to clean it up. Rugg's not a mean guy, though. He didn't show the kid's face on camera, so he wouldn't get hunted down by angry fans. He also gave the kid some gloves so he wouldn't get hurt by the glass. And after all of that, he was even nice enough to drive the kid home. Now, there's no damage to Rugg's car, the driveway got cleaned up, and everyone walked away happy. But still, don't go around throwing glass bottles at people's cars. The kid should be glad that Rugg didn't call the cops because that's technically considered vandalism. Yo guys, so I have a fan right next to me, right next to me right here. He threw a glass bottle at my car and he started running, but I caught him and I'm gonna make him clean up the glass. Alright, he threw this glass bottle, shattered it on my fucking car. He's standing right there. I can't show his face, I'm not like that. But he fucking threw a glass bottle at my he started skating super fast up the street, I got my car, sped down there, picked him up, took him back here, and I was gonna clean all the fucking glass off my driveway. Yo, bro, I don't want you hurting yourself, here's some gloves and a trash bag. There you go, I accidentally stepped on them with my new shoes, dude. So whoever does some shit like that again, you don't fucking do that. You don't fucking do that shit, you don't throw glass at someone's fucking car. Good job, dude. Oh, looks looks about clean. Looks good. I'm such a nice guy, guys. I'm taking him home right now. I'm a nice guy. Don't ever do some shit like that again. Don't ever. Oh my god, this kid is so lucky. He didn't shatter anything from my car. He is so lucky there's no damage done to my car. Oh my god. He's so fucking lucky. Number four. During PAX Prime 2015, Jacksepticeye, and Markiplier, and PewDiePie were doing a panel. And during the Q&A, they were met by a rude fan who made things a little awkward for everyone involved. Basically, the kid wanted to get a selfie with the three YouTubers to send to one of his friends, but the YouTube trio declined. It made sense too, they're mid-panel, up on stage, and if they gave one guy pictures, they're pretty much gonna have to give everyone pictures. And there would be no way they could pull that off in the allotted time. Not happy with the answer, the kid actually started talking back to them, acting as if for some reason he was entitled to a picture with the YouTubers. You could tell it was making everyone on the panel and probably in the audience feel pretty crappy. The kid wasn't content because he couldn't get a picture. It looked like the YouTubers probably felt like they were being guilt tripped and everyone in the audience likely just wanted stuff to move along. When it comes to meeting YouTubers at a panel, you shouldn't expect to take a picture with them. And when you're pretty much told that by the YouTubers, you definitely shouldn't start acting like a spoiled kid in front of everyone. Definitely one of the more awkward fan encounters. Nice shirt! Thank you! I, I don't know who Jack guy is, I just found this out in the corner. Yeah. Get the trash. But <laughs> I met Jack and Mark at any PopCon. Uh, I don't know if you recognize me, uh, but I got to talk to you guys there, and you guys are really cool people, so I wanted to say thank you for that. No problem. But I had you talk to my friend over there on the phone, so I can get pictures. So after my question, could I possibly get a picture? We can't get everyone We're, we're gonna do Bro, signings afterwards. Uh, Mark, but you were pushing the line, you were rushing me. Because like, oh. yeah, the line was so long, you were oh. rushing We were people. there for 20 hours. I don't believe uh, yeah, that's 20 you. hours. Okay. 20 Mark, hours. it doesn't matter how saying it wasn't yeah. fun, Mark. No, I mean, like, uh, we, we really would love to give everyone yeah. a picture here, but, like, the reason we're here for the panel is yeah, because yeah, of the questions. And yeah. there is a signing after this where we could get pictures, yeah, yeah. and that would be a more better place to where yeah. we don't have to run off stage <laughs> to do that. That's all I'm saying about the picture side of things. Okay. But do you have a question? If I go to the signing, you owe me a picture. I'm holding that against I'm sorry. you. I'm holding it against you, yeah. Mark. Nice. I'll sign your face if you want. Really? Okay. I'll sign more faces than you have. Number three. If there's one thing that is definitely not cool, it's showing up at one of your favorite YouTubers' houses. 
Now I get it, you like the YouTuber a lot, you find out where they live, and you think it'd be pretty cool to see if you could meet them. But let me be real with you for a second, it's not cool at all. If anything, it's a breach of privacy and it's more than a little bit creepy. In a video from August last year, PewDiePie recounts the story of how when he lived in Italy, a guy who was on vacation went and tried to meet him at his house. Now the actual event happened back in 2013, and you could tell that PewDiePie was just really awkward and tired. Guys, just don't go to YouTuber houses. It's not fair to the YouTubers, and it happens way too much to the point where YouTubers literally have to start buying fences to keep people out. God. Now this is some cringe. Prepare yourself. This was when I lived in Italy, and some guy that was on holiday in Italy came by our house. My girlfriend's mom opened the door and was like, There's a fan out there, you have to go! And I was like, okay. You know why it says actors I'm waiting? Because I didn't want to fucking go out. I was like, this is crazy, what the fuck are they doing here? Don't get me wrong, if I meet you anywhere else, literally anywhere else, we can be taking a piss on a urinal. I'd be fine meeting you, but don't come to my house. It's so wrong. Oh my god, this is long ago. This is very long ago. 2013. Uh, um, so. Oh my god, wearing the PewDiePie shirt! Very nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Back then, everything was so new, and this is the first time this happened to me. I didn't know how to react. And that's why this video is so cringy, dude. Channel. And I created a video uh, asking girls to oh, put, put a comment okay. to ask you some questions, but <laughs> nobody comes. So really? Yeah. And that sucks. Yeah, that that sucks. <laughs> he was gonna interview me, but he was really bad at interviewing. Second second question. E? Um, oh, you can tell how fucking tired I am here, dog. Second second question. E? Um, Look how fucking done I am. Number two. What's worse than just showing up at your favorite YouTuber's house? Stealing from their houses, of course. In July of 2015, the FaZe team were living in the New York FaZe house, and somehow the address was made public. They have a lot of fans coming around to their house because of it, and usually things are pretty chill, if a little weird. Eventually, though, someone ruined it for everyone and actually stole from the FaZe team's house. Before the event, the FaZe team let people into the house all the time, but afterwards they stopped that. What did the guy end up stealing? Well, the FaZe team didn't reveal that or the kid's name. Apparently, the matter was dealt with privately without getting the police involved and everyone walked away. The point remains, going to a YouTuber's house is pretty weird. Stealing from it is straight up illegal. Um, recently, we found out that somebody actually stole something from our house. Something worth Which, money. Yeah. I don't know who would be dumb enough. We have cameras literally everywhere. We have cameras literally a ca- We have record 24-7. Yeah, they're the recording all the time. And we caught this little fucker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but he did steal something, word. and it's it's fucked up that, you know, a f especially somebody that comes in since we they're a fan and they steal home. from us. Like, it's fucked up. I mean, you and know. And we, we do let everyone in. We let We always, like, you sucks know, that one bad egg has to ruin it all, but this also is getting a little bit overwhelming. People are hitting us at, like, especially when, especially four, when, four, when four or five groups of people are coming Like, if home. one person stole, we probably would not have, but, like, it's gotten to the point where people are always just coming to the door, and we're, it's not that, like, we are, of course, so thankful for you guys, but. This just the whole situation. The stealing was the, like the icing, man. The stealing was the icing on the cake, and it's just kind of like, you know, we can't have that. What's somebody else? Does? It's our home. Yeah. Number one. In May of last year, KSI and his brother, Comedy Shorts Gamer, did a meetup that went really wrong. So bad to the point that the police actually had to show up. Before arriving at the event, KSI pretty much jinxed the whole thing by saying he hoped there wouldn't be too many people at the event. The guy should have known not to tempt fate like that. When they got to the meetup, there was more than too many people. It was really crazy. There were so many people that KSI and his brother weren't even allowed out of the front door of their hotel. They had to go around the back. Things should have gone to plan though, even with the giant crowds, but Deji messed things up. When they got out, he shouted to the crowd and they reacted. It was like something out of a zombie movie with hundreds of people running out of everywhere straight at the two YouTubers. And they were basically surrounding and squashing them into a fence. It was a pretty crazy moment. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Jesus. And I said small. <laughs> because it's just too no, hectic. No, you can't go to the front. So we're gonna go through the back, thanks to this man over here. You can oh. hardly see him because it's so bright. Our guardian angel right there. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be hectic. They're not gonna expect this. What's up? <laughs> I do
going to die here. Police are here because it's just going to be too much. And there's our video on the top five craziest YouTuber fan encounters. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top ten idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.